Hello friends, welcome to estimation and costing training program. Lesson 1, how to calculate plastering and flooring quantity with the help of AutoCAD and Excel. We learn in this lesson how to work out quantity with the use of polyline in AutoCAD. How to prepare data sheet, how to use data sheet for work out quantity of different heads like plastering, floating, waterproofing, etc. This is a data sheet. Room name, internal area of each and every room, perimeter of room, and this is a carpet area of some of all internal room areas. We learn here how to prepare data sheet with the help of polyline. This is a AutoCAD drawing for two page keep floor plan. How to mark a polyline? Go to home. This is a polyline. But before that, polyline go to layer of properties. Create a new layer of go to here. Give the dot of before. Give any name. Select this if you want change the color. Now select the polyline, mark the corner of this room. End of polyline, give the command C is close and enter. Now select the polyline, type LI for list command. We get it area and perimeter of this room. Now copy this area. Put it in data sheet. This is a 10.34 and 13.21 is a perimeter of kitchen. After the preparation of this data sheet, we are going to work out the plaster quantity first. Filling plaster. Select this, copy it, go to measurement sheet. This is a measurement sheet, serial number, description, numbers, length, breadth, height, quantity, total quantity, unit. Copy data, put it here. Number 1. Here is give the formula for product. Product means multiplication formula. Product bracket select from this to this bracket complete enter. Control. If here is the two three bedrooms, then multiply by here. Okay, we get it the quantity of ceiling plaster. Now we go for wall plaster. Is the perimeter of a rooms. Now 13.21 is the kitchen perimeter. Now we go for kitchen. Here I have I'm going to type it here 13.21. This is a perimeter height of plaster. 3 meter floor to floor height minus 0 0.125 is the slab thickness, minus 0 0.1 is the skirting. I am directed here two windows, one opening and one door. Now I am going to AutoCAD try. This is a window W1, W3, door 1 and this is the opening. Okay. Same product formula. Indicate it here. Wall plaster quantity. 
Similarly, you have to work out all rooms, internal wall plaster. Here is the living room, passage, gate one, gate two, W three, bath. Okay. Now we are going for flooring work. I'm deleted here. Copy of ceiling plaster quantity. This is the flooring. Now skirting. Okay. Go to quantity of wall plaster. Copy all the rooms, but for example, I'm going for only kitchen. Go to skirting head. There is the copy and paste. Now I have to delete all the heads. No need for skirting, no need of height, no need of windows. Now we have to get it the quantity of a skirting. Now we are going for dead work. I have already worked out here the WC and bath internal plaster quantity. Copy this internal plaster quantity, paste it here. Now you have to create it the quantity of dead also, and before that, delete. Not delete, check the height of that Height of that I think our door height is the door level. My door height is a 2.1. One door deduction. Window deduction, same height 2.1. Mark here. How many have a data sheet key you say? Ceiling plaster, wall plaster, flooring, skirting, and that will be quantity workout. This shortcut method be here. So, you will be useful. If you have a video, please like, share, and subscribe. And this is my first video. Thank you and very much.